Alright, Shalom. Let's start saying Brakata Yahoo, Brakata Yahoo Shai, Brakata Yahoo, Brakata Yahoo Shai, Brakata Yahoo, Brakata Yahoo Shai. I want to say all praise and glory due to Yahoo, Bahashem, Yahoo Shai, Bahashem, Rakar Kadash. Dumb honor to our apostles, Edwards, Great Millstone, Salutation to you, hopeful elect out there, teaching the word of truth with sincerity. Alright, I'm the brother Omar, coming back at you with another video. And, um, you know, real quick, I just want to make it brief. Um,. It's gonna probably be titled um, um, "Knowing the Times." What um, what spirit should you be in? All right, because um, when you when you know the scriptures, man, you you're supposed to know um, pretty much how to uh, how to behave or how or what or what um, you know. Like I said, what spirit to be in, man. All right, and not be more and not be in a, um, <laughs> like if you know the scriptures, you should know what's coming. <laughs> So should you be in a laughing, you know, giggly, you know, um, unserious uh, 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 disposition, all right? Or should you be in a more, you know, serious, contrite, you know, spirit? So, you know, without further ado, I'm going to just get into it. This is Sirach chapter 7 verse 1. It is better to go to the house of mourning than to go to the house of feasting. For that, for that is the end of all men, and the living will lay it into his heart. All right, why is it better to go to the house of mourning? Because you you understand, um, you know, the times that we're in. All right, verse, verse 3, it says, Sorrow is better than laughter. Excuse me. Yeah. It says, For by the sadness of the continents, the heart is made better. It says, Sorrow is better than laughter. And the reason why is because a person that is sorrowful, you know what I mean, it's... you. You know, more than likely, you understand, you know, the situations that you're in rather than always having like a, you know, a giggly, laughy, you know, lovey dovey, you know, spirit. And say, for the sadness of the continents, the sadness of the continents, the, uh, and say, for by the sadness of the continents, the heart is made better. The mind, you know what I mean? And say, the heart of the wise is in the house of mourning, but the heart of the fools is in the house of mirth. Yeah, so the heart of the wise, the minds of the wise, they're going to be in the um the house of mourning, meaning they're going to be in a contrite, you know, broken spirit. They're going to understand what's going on. They're not going to be all jolly, you know, because if you know what we know, if you know the scriptures, you know what I mean, you know what's coming down the pipe, you know, you know that shit is not, it's not really funny, you know what I'm saying? So that's why I said what manner, what manner, how, what manner of person you ought to be pretty much or, or, or how serious should you be, you know? Let's say, but the heart of the fools is in the house of mirth. All right, so a majority of these people, man, when you see, especially the men of our nation, we see Jake, they all, you know, whether it's War Star or whatever, you know, Jake is always watching, you know, um, war. Jake is always, you know, doing pranks, you know what I mean, or skits, you know, or jokes, you know, even when you watch that show Wildin' Out, you know, Jake is always in that that spirit, man, you know, trying to have a good time, trying to chill. You know, chilling more than you know, uh, learning about their culture and learning about wisdom and how the earth, how the earth, how the earth, you know, uh, revolves and you know what I mean, just how things work, commerce and you know, geopolitics. Jake don't want nothing to do with that, man. And the whole reason why is because the the way, you know, Jake, uh, um, Jake mentality is, man. Jake mentality is to chill, you know what I mean, rather than gain wisdom, especially in these days. Uh, verse five. It is better to is it is better to hear the rebuke of the wise than 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 for a man to hear the song of fools. All right. Um, let me see. Uh, and this is this is the main point I want to uh, uh, expound on. Verse seven. Surely oppression make of a wise man mad, and a gift destroyed the heart. So. You know, I said going back to the title, you know. If knowing the times, you know, what spirit should you be in, man? So if you have wisdom, then that mean that mean you understand what's going on. Then it says surely oppression make the wise man mad. So if you understand that you're being oppressed and you understand that your people are down and out and they're at the bottom of the total pole, that, that should make you mad. And the reason why, because you understand oppression. All right. And then it says gift destroyed the heart. All right. So and I was to get this uh, the scripture. All right. To, to just to bring my point home even more. So the reason why brothers is you know screaming on you know on the live streams and on the highways and byways is because of um 
we understand what's happening. We understand that, yo, man, this is some BS, all right? We're tired of living like this. We're tired of our people suffering. But we understand uh, the conditions of um, of what, what our people are, or how our people have been placed or what, or what, our, what our people have been placed in, all right? It's, it's because of disobedience, because of rebellion. But um, I don't want to get into it, man. This is Second Peter chapter 2. Second Peter chapter 3, excuse me, verse um, verse 11. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, all right, talking about the, you know, pretty much the America, all right, and um, other parts of the world, all right, because, you know, uh, the Lord is going to command um, these nations to shoot missiles upon each other, and they're going to they're gonna dissolve uh, their nations, all right, their kingdoms with those missiles, with those arrows, I say, seeing then all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons are ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? So if you understand what we're talking about, you understand that America, America is going to get destroyed and other parts of the earth is going to get destroyed. And, um, you know, the famine is coming, you know, physical uh, and, uh, and, and and by the word, um, you know, food shortages and, you know what I mean, uh, people, cannibalism, all sorts of other, you know, you know, just pretty much bad, uh, you know, evil times. What person are you to be, man? What spirit should you be in, man? Like I said, man, you Jake don't understand what's about to come down the pipe, man. They think they think it's a game. They think we're out there for a show. And they think we're out there, you know, to get paid or whatever the fucking case is, man. Uh, but um, bring in verse eleven back. Second uh, Peter three verse eleven. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved. All right, because the missiles will hit this place. All right, of what manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? All right, so like I said, man, you should be in. Um, you should pretty much be speaking about the scriptures, man, all day, every day, man. All right, you know, I mean, some folly here and there, but for the most part, your your conversation and your thought process should be surrounded by these prophecies, man. The kingdom, verse twelve, looking forward and hastening unto the coming of the day of the Lord. You're supposed to be looking, looking for and hasting, man. I mean, you're supposed to be, you know, you're supposed to be, you know, what I mean, like, like, it, you know, um, like not itchy, but um, you're supposed to be like concerned when the Lord's coming back, man. It say hasting unto the coming of the day of Yahweh, wherein the heavens being on fire, why? Because the nuclear missiles, the ICBMs. Shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. And that, that, like I said, the missiles is gonna do that. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for a new heavens, for for new heavens and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness. So that's what we're looking for, man. We're looking for a new heaven and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness, man, where wickedness is not here. All right, and that's that's just gonna come to pass real soon. But like I said, man, the main point of this lesson is is um. Uh, knowing the times, what what spirit should you be in, man? Like I said, cause Jake, man, Jake tend to tend to play too damn much, man. And all that playing and laughing and ha ha and kiki and it's gonna catch up to you, man. All right. So with that, I'm gonna give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Karkadash, Devon, Astor, Apostle, Esgrim, Millstone, Salutations, Two Hopeful, Lake Shalom.